uh, I wanted to flag up, someone has uh, recently written a book, Simon Singh wrote a book called The Maths of the Simpsons, uh, which I, uh, I love it as a book, it's a brilliant book. As a comedian, uh, it's fantastic to finally realise there are other nerdy comedians out there who've been secreting mathematics into every single episode of The Simpsons. Uh, and uh, I, I asked Simon for some recommendations of women in science or maths, especially women in maths, because we don't have any mathematicians on the bill today. Uh, and uh, this, this is an example of two women, um, one fictional, one non-fictional, uh, who have pretended to be men in order to get a mathematical education. Uh, and on the left, that's Sophie Germain, who had to pretend to be a man. She had a, a pen name, a male pen name, in order to get lectures out of the University of Paris. Um, and she wrote some phenomenal uh, mathematics about wobbling surfaces. I don't know, look it up, I don't know. Um, uh, Lisa Simpson did some amazing stuff with a baseball team in one episode of The Simpsons using maths. Uh, so uh, your inspirations do not have to be fictional. Um, uh, but they can also be, if you like. So Sophie Germain, real mathematician. Lisa Simpson, fictional mathematician. Both, I think, valid role models uh, for, for Ada Lovelace Day. Um, I wanted to do for you, actually, um, a, uh, a song, because I've mentioned I'm a science comedian. I do songs about science. I do science presenting and stuff like that. I thought I would do one to kick off the second half. Um, so I brought this little thing. Um, does anyone know what this is? Yeah. This is yeah, it's good. It's a good guess. It's not. It's a, it's a normal sized guitar, and I am massive. That's how, that's how we roll. Um, so I like that. I like that how you laughed at that. Um, uh, I did a show at the Edinburgh Fringe last year called Helen Arney, Voice of an Angle. So you all, you all, get, that, you all get that that's a maths joke, right? That was, that was a perspective joke. Now you've got a maths joke as well. If you came to the show, the whole thing would have given you a large hadron. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, so, but I, I, wanted to do, I wanted to do something about, uh, about um, uh, inspiring young people. Because my, my sister uh, has recently had uh, a, a baby. I've got a niece, which is very exciting. Um, she's called Tiff, because she's a girl. Um, if it was a boy, it would have been JPEG. Well, I don't name them, so... <laughs> that's fine. Um, so that's a little sister for Bitmap and PDF, who are really sweet, but... Unfortunately, father is image file not found, so we don't talk about him anymore. Um, uh, he left an address. It was like 404 something, but I've never, I've seen that since. Uh, so I wanted to do a song because um, I I've decided that she's going to be a scientist. She doesn't know yet, um, but I've brought her. Uh, I've already brought her a present. Uh, which is this? Check it out. Uh, this is the first year that Lego have released a minifig of a female scientist. Yes. <laughs> Um, obviously, she is far too young to have it, so I am looking after it for her <laughs> for a few years. It basically looks like me. I'm really proud. Um, so, uh, so this is kind of a song, because I read the other day uh, an amazing bit of science news that said that one in uh, three children born this year will live to be 100 She's phenomenal, and that's not just <coughs> Molly's twins. Like, she's not, this, this isn't just Molly Stevens making children live longer. This is, this is genuinely, as our life expectancy has improved, one in three children can expect to live to be 100. And I find that amazing. My, my niece could be a centurion, which is amazing, because I assume job opportunities in the Roman Legion have improved. <laughs> The cent centenarian, centenarian, she could be a centenarian. And I'm wondering, I'm working out how I can improve my chances of living as long as her, if not longer. Um, so I'm going to do one of my songs. I am in this song, by the way, just in case you're a bit scared by what's about to happen on the screen, because uh, it's massive. Uh, I am accompanied by a, um, a backing band of my future animated self, all right? So um, just in case you get a bit scared by that. So this, uh, for you, this is a love song from the future. Darling, it's our wedding anniversary next week. My gift for you is carefully chosen. It's perfect for the couple who have everything. I'm getting us both cryogenically frozen. Yeah, so it's you and me and Walt Disney. We're dancing and singing in the 25th century. We're living the future held together by sutures. Ice cubes forming in our brains. Industrial antifreeze running through our veins. I found it on Groupon. So I've looked into this quite carefully And it turns out there's a lot of contradiction That Disney on ice isn't literal And that episode of Doctor Who was fiction So it's you and me 
don't even know Walt Disney to some baseball players and 70s hippies. Don't shake their hands, cause you'll get more than you planned. And please stop flirting with your great, 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 great. Great, 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 great granddaughter's friends. I just want to please you. I just want to please you. But you don't seem too overjoyed, my love, but it's too late to get a refund. And the truth is that I never liked your body much, so I have only paid to get your hair. Done. Don't have a seizure. It's just a freezer. So it's you and me in the 35th century. I'll keep your brain in a mechanical jar of wheels. First bionic, then bionic. We will be together. The skin will be like leather, but at least we'll be together again. Darling, don't complain. It's just liquid. No. Some people say I've got more money than sense. Truth is that I have neither. I bought a package from some cut price cowboys in Russia who didn't build a door for your visa. You were so lovely. Now your brain is slush for me. So it's just me at minus 200 degrees. I'm waiting for the 40th century. I have no regrets, except not wearing a vest. And maybe I should just have bought you that discount home cremation kit instead.